Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the latest and greatest from Apple. iOS 18 has finally been revealed and it's packed with new features and improvements. From a revamped photos app to a more customizable home screen, lock screen, and control center, there's a lot to cover. So let's jump right in. Apple just wrapped up its WWDC 2024 and they've announced a ton of exciting updates. For all the details on Apple's announcements, check out our WWDC 2024 guide. But for now, let's focus on iOS 18 and what it brings to your iPhone. First up, the home screen. After a decade and a half of fixed app layouts, iOS 18 lets you place icons freely on the home screen grid. You can now keep parts of your home screen app free to admire your wallpaper or create fun patterns of apps. The icons themselves are also customizable. A new dark mode option lets icons blend in with the rest of the interface at night, and you can even add your own colors. An auto option will pair them with your current wallpaper colors, but you can set them manually too. The Control Center has also received a major overhaul. You can now add and remove controls freely from a gallery similar to adding widgets to your home screen. Plus, you can organize them on multiple pages to your liking. On the lock screen, the two shortcuts currently set to the flashlight and camera can now be swapped with other apps. The action button on the iPhone 15 Pro can also be customized. Privacy is a big focus in iOS 18. You can now lock apps behind Face ID, Touch ID, or a password and hide apps in a locked folder in the app library. A reworked app permission system lets you select which of your contacts an app can access and Bluetooth accessories now use a more secure connection interface. In messages, you can now react to messages with any emoji or sticker thanks to tapbacks. The new text effects menu lets you add animations to certain words or emoji and you can also format your text with bold, italic, underline, or strike through. Plus, you can schedule messages and send iMessages or SMS via satellite on iPhone 14 and later models. The Mail app now features on device categorization, helping you filter emails automatically. A new summary view shows all messages from a specific contact, giving you a high-level overview of important information. For the adventurers out there, Apple Maps now offers topographic maps with walking and hiking routes, including routes for U.S. national parks. These routes can be saved for offline use, and you can set your own as well. The Wallet app now supports tap to cash, allowing you to send money by bringing your iPhone next to someone else's. Apple Pay now works with loyalty schemes, and digital tickets have a refreshed look. The Journal app has been upgraded with a new Insights view to show stats and improve search functionality to help you find old entries. Gamers will love the new game mode designed to minimize background activity and keep performance high. It also improves Bluetooth latency, making controllers and audio accessories feel more responsive. The Photos app has received a significant update with a customizable interface. You can now admire a rotating carousel of favorited photos and navigate more deliberately through your images. Collections help sort your images into categories, making it easier to find specific photos. Apple Intelligence is not just a buzzword, it's integrated deeply into iOS 18. There are new writing and image editing tools, including the ability to change the tone of your text or tweak photos by adding or removing elements. The Gymmoji feature lets you generate the perfect reaction emoji, and the Image Playground app allows for easy prompting of styles and subjects. Siri has also been revamped with a new glowing border indicator and context-aware commands, it can now follow multi-app requests and edit images for you. Apple promises secure processing on device or via private cloud compute with options to use ChatGPT and other AI tools with your permission. These features will initially be available on the iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max, equipped with Apple's latest AA17 Pro chip. Whether these features will eventually come to older models remains to be seen. Even with some details still missing, iOS 18 is shaping up to be a significant update. We're excited to see how these new capabilities enhance our iPhones and we'll be sure to share more details as they emerge. The developer beta for iOS 18 is available starting June 10th and the public beta will be available in July at beta.apple.com. The full version of iOS 18 should be available around mid-September, just in time for the new iPhone 16 models. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more updates on iOS 18 and all things Apple. See you next time.